Hello, welcome to gaping fiery anus in the sky along with floating pubes. Welcome to Dark Souls 3 Eclipse Edition. Uh, Twilight Edition. Is that New Moon? Oh. I guess, I guess, um, what the crap is the art, is the author's name? I don't oh, even know. I, I, I don't even know, but she, she penned this game. Yeah, she did the art style for this game. <laughs> She was like, fuck it, I'm done writing uh, shitty teenage vampire books. <laughs> I'm going to do uh, crazy um, artwork. Two-handing. Okay. Sweet. All right. Whatever. Yes. We're doing a boss oh, fight? Hello. Hayden. <laughs> Who else can you summon, or is it just Hayden? Just, oh, uh, fuck. I don't even care. Hayden, fuck. Honestly, this boss... It... I'm not going to jinx myself, because yeah. this boss can be really difficult. I actually didn't have too much trouble with him. Yeah. Dogged. Welcome, Actually, uh, my un well, your while well, your hollowing was reversed, so. What? Oh. Well, they said on Kindle. I thought you became human, so you're not really on Kindle. But. What chance? You can get that sword if you want it. Cool. My legs don't work. Even though I still have them. Oh, hello. Yeah, this guy can teleport. Oh, good. Well, I guess that makes sense considering he doesn't have legs. He has legs. They're they just, just don't work. They just don't work for some reason. It's never explained. I don't care. Oh, this is the Elder Prince. Lorian. The other one's Lothric. Who we've heard so much about throughout the game. Yeah. Ow! So this prince, even though it's the Elder Prince, is not as important? Nope. Weird, it's always the Elder Princes that are more important. I guess not in this game. Dark Souls changing it up! Not in Game of Thrones, either. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, oh they do work. Oh, shit. He's just a lazy fuck. Yeah, like, oddly enough, his first stage is the hardest stage. Really? Yep. It, I don't know why, I just had the most trouble with the first stage, and not that much with the second one. Die, bitch, die. Also, the fact that I'm going into here with, like, half of my flasks isn't yeah. too great, but whatever. Yeah, second, right, stage second stage time! Blair dead. Ah. Blair. Does he become, like, a ghosty? Nah. Lothric's you... just like, lol, you're not dead. Dear that's Lothric? I'm my yeah, that's Lothric. Uh. Why are you two still alive? I'm the are you gay for your bro? It seems a little bit gay. It's too much like Alphonse and Edward up in here. But they were cool. These guys, not so much. Alphonse and Edward are a little bit gay for each other. You have to admit they are a little gay for each other. Well... Not as much as Sam and Dean Winchester from Supernatural. They're super gay for each other. Or uh, Sam and Frodo. Sam, they're not brothers, though. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, at least, at, least, at least Ed uh, gets married. It's true. Oh, now he just carries Lothric. Yeah, well, Lothric's like giving him life. So even if I kill the other prince again, he just he he keeps coming back. Okay. So I have to kill Lothric while he's on his back. Oh, so you have to. Oh, so you have to attack his back to attack yeah. Lothric. Yes, I only have to kill Lothric. Oh, then Lorien just dies. Yeah. Okay, that's where the challenge comes in. So basically, I guess as soon as you figure that out. It's not as hard anymore. Like, I can imagine the first time if you didn't know that you don't, like, that you had... I figured it out immediately because I killed Lorian and then he just came right back to life. And then you're like, ah! It's like, huh, I must kill Lothric. Boop. Can you please stop hurting me? I've only got three flasks left. Yeah, I'm a boop you. It'd be hella useful if you could backstab. It would be. Like, I can understand not backstabbing Lorian because he's pretty huge, but Lothric is pretty tiny. Yeah, Lothric's, like, smaller than I am. 
I wonder if Lothric was like a sickly child or some shit. I think he's sickly right now. Well, they're probably way too old for their own well-being. That was close. Oh, you're out of SDs. Yep. Alright, here comes the fun. Pump up the volume. Can you attack him while this is happening? Ow. Oh. I beat him. Yeah. Yay, I did it. First try. No, again, yes. yes. Shut up, Lothric. No one gives a fuck. Would you die already? Cinders of the Lord. Soul of the Twin Princes. So, you know how you're asking me, you're like, hey, how many episodes do you think we have left? Yeah. Yeah, this might be our last recording session of Dark Souls 3. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. I just realized that uh, this game is not as long as I thought it was. Jesus. Well, what do you have because left? The last boss. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, son! Yeah, to yeah, be it fair, was like though, two recording sessions, maybe even three if I do badly. Yeah, it's like if I do well, like two recording sessions. Yeah. If I do badly, maybe three. I've been doing very well You've been doing this very recording well. session, so yeah, we're going on to the last boss. Excellent. I guess you might as well level. Yes. Give me that. Oh, yeah, I saw that health. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tasty. So, here's a question. What? Do the princes give you anything good? Uh, you can get that big great sword like I was talking about. Yeah. You can also get Lothric's little sword, which I don't remember how good it is. Um, yeah. The twin princes. Yeah, that's Lothric's holy sword. Yeah. So that's a faith weapon. Yeah. It's cool, but... Faith weapon. Faith weapon. Uh... Ba -da -ba -da -ba Oh, yeah, then there's the fiery greatsword that Lorian is using. Cool. And then what was the, for, um, Dragon Slayer stuff? You can get his great axe. And then what was the other one? The shield. Oh, okay, so the great axe and the shield. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, there's the shield. But the, is the great axe any good? Oh, so the great... Melted iron shield that once formed part of the Dragon Slayer armor. Oh. So it actually took the shield from Ornstein's armor. Cool. Yeah, is, is the great axe any good? Um, I think it was to the left twice and then down. Eh. It's alright. It's alright. Does lightning damage? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I already used the web or the soul though. Yeah. So what I have to do now is go. Here you go. Which was which soul was that? I don't know. Oh, so I, can, I, can check by, I can check by looking at the back of the seat. That was Aldrich. Okay. Aldrich, the Age of Worlds. And that one is Lothric, I believe. Yeah, that would make the most sense. And then that so one... So PvP, dude? Is Lorian? This one is... No. That one's... Oh, that's the Abyss Watchers. Okay. And this one's the Orb of the Giant, since it's fucking huge. Yeah. And his head is giant. Yeah. Woot. Now she's gonna walk over to the bonfire and be like, oh, cool, you did it. Not oh, sweet. Game over. And we'll be like, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Shut up. Time to kneel. So we'll get another throwback here to the very first Dark Souls. Sweet. I feel a little bad doing this though, because the guy that gives you all the boss weapons just kills him. Oh. <laughs> like you have to kill him to beat the game. He's just chilling. Ah! He's dead. Oh. No more boss weapons for you. Yep. I'd like to see them like do another Dark Souls game, but like your character from the first game becomes evil. 
And so that's yeah, the final I, boss is the character from the first I game. wouldn't want it to be the final boss. I'd want it to be an optional boss. Oh, okay. because like a throw up. Yeah. Back. Like Easter egg type deal. That'd be cool. I respect those things a lot more when they're Easter eggs. At the same time, I wouldn't really care. Yeah. It, it'd still be cool either way. Oh, Bay, You so pretty even without your uh, eyes showing. But I guess probably... I don't know. Are they going to do Dark Souls 4 next? Man, or who the fuck they gonna, knows? They easily could. Or are they going to do Bloodborne 2? I think they've already been working on Bloodborne 2 for a while now. Probably, so probably makes more sense. And then they'll do... Blood, and then they'll do... Uh... uh uh, well, the thing about Dark Souls is the lore is so fucking obscure and all over the place yeah. that this series could keep going on forever and people keep buying it because all they buy it for is the gameplay. It's fun to play. It's challenging. They don't care what the story is. The story's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what I'd like? What? If in uh, Dark, Souls, Dark Souls 4, your character started off as like... Because there's obviously like an order of like dragon slayers or whatever. There's like a group of them, because there's pl you, like you fought plenty of them throughout yeah. the whole series. If it like, it starts off that there's like kind of like a, and this could be like leading into like could be like kind of the prequel for the whole series kind of thing, but it's leading in that you're like some like trainee or some shit for that, and then everything goes to shit and everyone dies, and then you're like you're like one of the first, like unkindled, I guess we can say. Yeah. So, like, see the world of Dark Souls before it goes to shit. Yeah. And then it goes to shit. Make it, like, the definitive, like, start to the... To the series. So that area, and this area that I'm in, yeah. is where I fought Gwyn in the first game. Yeah. The last boss of the first game. So it's probably fairly simple to get to where you needed to go. Well, or well the, the, the good thing about this last boss is the last boss is right up there. Oh, okay. So, there's a bonfire right here. Yeah. So I don't have to walk very far to get back into the last boss fight. That's good. But yeah, this is where I fought Gwyn. It's just, it's all fucking destroyed now. Yeah. Alright. I need to do some things. You need to put on that ring. Dragon Crest Shield? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't need this ring anymore. Boom. Definitely want that. Um, I'll try it with that. I don't need any of this on what? No. Okay. <sighs> Alright. 14,000 souls. Don't care about that. Not really a deal. Not even slightly. So this is the last boss of Dark Souls 3. Excellent. Egg salad. I saw a summon sign there. Yep. So Miku. Miku. Freya. 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 And who's this other one? Soxsworth. Oh my god. <laughs> Soxsworth right, so. is awesome. I'm going to at least try him a couple times on my own. Yeah. But yeah, this is the Soul of Cinder. And he is essentially a combination of all of the lords that I have fought in up to this point. Oh. As well as a combination of Gwyn from the first game. Oh. Hence the throwback to the first game of it being in the same area. Yeah. He is very, very hard. How many stages does he have? I guess that's the question I should ask. Okay, so at least it's not like... He has two stages, but he changes between four different forms. Oh. They look the yeah. same, but they are completely different. So now he's in one form. He is in oh. his... Oh. Yeah, so now he's like in his uh, pyromancer form. Yeah. So he'll like throw fireballs at me and shit like that. Use power within, which he's using right now. Which makes him stronger. And he's really fast and agile. Yeah. And does he just randomly switch, or is it like when you get to a certain health point, he'll um, switch? The first time you fight him, so this time right now, it's the same. Okay. But then every other time it changes. It's completely uh, random. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm really focused. Well, on obviously, yeah, this is going to be a bit more of a quieter section. Uh, I'll oh, do what God. I can, but obviously, I'm, I'm 
I'm watching. Enjoying. Shit, shit. Woo! Alright, so I might actually be able to get him into a second form without him even using one of his other stages. Yeah, so you can use Poison Mist. That's... Alright, so now I gotta get the fuck away from him because he explodes. So now he's in his second stage, which is pretty much straight up the win. Okay. But the only problem is, this move he's about to use right now, four, it's a five hit combo that will kill me. Because he knocks me into the air, yeah. hits me four times, and then explodes. explodes. It always kills me. It will kill you if you get caught in it. Damn. So that's the thing that you, that's the reason he's so hard, is because of that. So what do you really have to like really watch for? You gotta watch for his char- that. Oh, not that. It looks like that. Okay. But he like charges up his sword. And you gotta get the fuck away, cause he gets some- oh, grab- yeah, he's uh. got grab attacks and kicks as well. So like, he is essentially Gwyn. Yeah. Like, this move right now, or this stage is just straight up Gwyn. Yeah. And he can also oh. become Zeus. <laughs> wow. Okay. The only different. Also, it's playing the mute. There, that's the. That's the, Oh fuck! Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. oh. It's also oh. if you. It's kind of playing the music from the Gwen fight. Yeah. Which makes me happy. Fuck you through in the air. Shit! 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. Ah. No, no. Oh. As long as he doesn't throw it in the air, I'm happy. Yeah, because then it's like a homing. Yeah. Not ah, fuck. So I just beat him on my first try. Hey! I had the best playthrough ever on these last few episodes. I know, you beat every boss in one try. Pretty much, yeah. So uh, that was Dark Souls 3. And Woo! we are going to see the best ending of Dark Souls 3 because I do not have a hollow sigil. And I gave her her eyes. Excellent. Summon the Fire Keeper. What if you just say, what if you don't? Then you can, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think that deserves a high five. I cannot believe I fucking beat that on my first try. That boss yeah. took me like two solid hours. Yeah, you, yeah, I remember you came down. And you were literally like, I was fucking raging. I was like, but that I did was. It. I was like, that was harder than Ornstein and Smog the first time I fought Ornstein and Smog. Yeah. <laughs> I was raging like a child punching my bed. Yeah. Going like fuck, almost like yeah. wanting to throw my controller. But I also got a really lucky playthrough that time because he only used one of his stages. Granted, yeah. I think the pyromancy stage is his hardest stage. Oh, uh, okay. The easiest one is his sorcery stage because you can yeah. just stay behind him. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think like second half of the game for the most part, all the bosses you beat within at like three tries. But like all the hard ones you beat on your first try. I know, it was ridiculous. Like, yeah, this was, like, a pretty, like, fucking solid playthrough. Yeah, this was a, um, this was a playthrough that I could be proud of. Yeah, because I think, I think the boss that gave me the most trouble was the Crystal Sage. That did give me a lot of trouble, yeah. I, I can't believe I beat the Abyss Watchers. I don't know, so on first try. That yeah. one, that one was a nightmare for me. Because even, um... Oyseros was also quite difficult for me, and I beat it on your first try. I think the only yeah, on my by, on my own too. I summoned yeah. someone on my yeah. other profile. While everyone else was like, "Oh, you gotta summon someone. You gotta summon someone." And you beat it by yourself. Yeah. On your first try. Yeah. Like the only other boss I think after Crystal Sage that really gave you that much trouble was um um that Dancer of the Valley. Yeah. Or whatever. Dan Dancer is hard. I will say Dancer is one of the harder bosses in this game for yeah. sure. But yeah. Besides that, you fucking rocked the last half of the game. Yeah, the, um, this game, I wouldn't recommend people playing this game first, because the beginning of it is really hard. Also, Oot. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was my first thing. Because I never really played, like, I played the, the tiniest bit of the first Dark Souls, but that's it. Here's my voice, I do. 
I can still move right now, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The end of fire. So yeah, I got rid of all the fire. Yeah. That was supposed to be the good ending. From what I read online. Oh, okay. And but that's it? That's true. That was Dark Souls 3. Woo! Begin Journey 2 in current state. Journey 2 could be initiated from the Shrine by the Fire if you don't wish to begin now. Nah. Nah, we're good. Because I want to check something. Okay. What do you want to check? Apparently I can buy the armor of the last boss. Oh. I didn't even check that on my profile, but I want to check it right now. Sup, B? Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, Ashley and one. I can buy Titanite slabs from her? Yeah. Oh, she only has one in stock, though. Okay. So that, you can get three Titanite slabs in this game. Do you have any cool weapons? Nope. Nope. Would it be the Fire Link stuff? You can get Lorian stuff, too. Oh, that's cool. And there's Smog stuff. Yeah, would it be the Fire Link? Yep. How good is it? I don't know what I'm going to buy at all. Cool. Yeah, you got the money for it. Fuck, why not? Yeah, you champion Gunders shit. There, there's all the, there's the Xanthus. Not the crown, though. Only no, the you can get the crown. Yeah. But there's the, there's the armor for it, though. Alright, time to put this shit on. Well, the helmet's a bit better. Yeah. The armor's also a bit better. Uh, the gloves aren't better, but whatever. The boots aren't better either. Okay. So the helmet and the chest piece are better. Cool. And this might look familiar to anyone that's seen the cover of Dark Souls 3 or the beginning intro theme, because this is what you see. Except he's holding, like, some sand or some shit. Yeah. But... Yeah, so I guess there's. Is he still dead? Yep. You can still use him though. Oh, that's cool. What does he have? Sunlight spear. Do you get? Can you use that guy that you just beated his to get a boss weapon? That's what I was looking for. But it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like there's a weapon for the last boss. Huh. Oh well. So. I hope y'all enjoyed Dark Souls 3 with Perfectly Calm Gaming. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing something different. We have no idea what. No clue. So enjoy Doom, which is another game that we're playing right now. Yep, late night Doom on weekends. So okay. uh, keep coming, game on. Goodbye! Bye!